Hello, my dear students. Deshiya Vidya Shala Samiti and Devis PU Independent College welcomes you for the uh, recorded video classes. That is, get set to learn your practical through video classes. I am Smita T J. So today we will be studying about the exercise number 17. That is, verification of Mendel's law of segregation. So what is the aim of the experiment? That means to study and verify Mendel's law of segregation. Okay. So what the principle says? That means according to Mendel's law, the alleles of a gene from a hybrid separate during gamete formation. So in a first law, that means monohybrid cross, when a hybrid obtain both dominant and recessive allele of a gene. And uh, monohybrid cross marta divyantandre adale enaagtirutte one dominant and another recessive character iruvantadanna nav takkonde in marta irthivi crossing marta okay so the f1 what we obtain that is in a condition we call it as heterozygous condition anthe heli karthi okay so when that f1 is selfed andre yen f1 obtain agirutte adanna selfing maadadaga so in the f2 generation the ratio that means the phenotypic ratio we obtain that is the 3 is to 1 ratio only obtain agathe and heli okay so hagadre ee principle na satisfy maadodakke nam en maadtivi experiment na maadibittu navu conclude maadti okay so what are the requirements that is needed Pla plastic beads of two different colors and a napkin for the experiment so here there is a note that means each bead represents a gamete and the that okay so we already know that if we are talking about a gene so gene will have a pair of alleles so illi now experimental hege represent maartta idivi antandre so one bead represents one allele okay so hagadre eradu bead ittandre we call it as a pair of allele and heli karthi okay yes my dear students so here we are taking two characters so one is a yellow bead which represents yellow seed and another is a green bead which represent green seed so here the yellow is dominant over the green color okay so here we are taking one triad that means we are taking two beads so here one bead represents one nali so here yellow is dominant over green so we are crossing this so this is a parent that means yellow bead and green bead is a parent later so what is the gamete that is obtained so from the parent there is a two gamete that is formed and rega in yellow bead any day so a yellow bead in the yellow gamete formation okay so like that from the green bead that is green Seed any day, Adrina Nukuda yes to obtain Agbeko, Yered gametes Namige, obtain Agat. Okay. So after that, the F1 generation, what we going to obtain and Heli Noda Didre. So there will be a combination, Vandu, yellow, and green. Iveredu Madhya, one combination Agate, another again same, yellow and green Madhya Mate, combination Agat. So Hagade Namige, F1 will obtain like this okay so here we already know that yellow is dominant over the green and the heli divi so hagadre f1 generation yen bandirate so the f1 generation all will be expressing one character that is yellow so yellow seed matra namige obtain agirate yake so the green is a recessive character. So Hagare F1 generation what we obtain that is of all heterozygous condition and the heli Okay. So Hagare parental namta wondira de nagirate homozygous conditionally yeradirate. So homozygous dominant and homozygous recessive. So from that there will be a formation of a gamete. So from the gametes there is a F1 progeny that is obtained. So this F1 progeny is in a condition we call it as what heterozygous condition and heli karthi okay so we call it as heterozygous dominate and heli okay so we already know that the what 
the F1 progeny we obtained, we will be crossing. So, selfing maadthivi and thayil ilzi. So, what you mean by selfing? Yenu heterozygous condition mandirathe. So, idhne nao mathe crossing over maadtha hogod. Okay? So, haagare idhne crossing maadtha ga, yen barathe and thayil ilzi nodadidhe. Totally, we will be taking the 64 yellow beads and 64 green beads na nao tekoondi dhivi. So, totally the F2 progeny yeshto peral bandhirathe. 64 pairs are obtained. So, that's what we will do next. Yes, students. So, we are taken here. We are taken here. F1 is the heterozygous dominant condition. Now, we have beats. So, here, in a one ball, we have taken total 32 yellow and 32 green. And in another ball, 32 yellow and again 32 green beads and out account so randomly we will going to pick up the two beads from the separate bowl and will be keeping aside so like that we have to do it for all the cases okay so there may be a combination more combination so the one combination we will be getting is the dominant yellow beads. So, yellow in the dominant and the yellow in So, one the e conditional liver both. That means, yellow seed bar both. Atwa another that is a recessive. So, recessive conditional liver both. So, that means, recessive green seeds. So, bar both. Atwa adu jote ge in on the intermediate condition koda bar both. That is, heterozygous dominant condition koda bar both. Okay. So, how are now total these two beads na random agi pick maadi note daga e muru combination ali bandirate. So, e muru combination ya ratio da lirbaku the phenotypic ratio has to be there that means 3 is to 1 na lirbaku genotypic ratio note aadi viyanre 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio ali lirbaku. Okay. So, what you mean by genotypic ratio and a phenotypic ratio we already know in case of theory classes. Yes, students, by randomly picking the F1 uh, progeny, what we have obtained. So, we have obtained all these samples, that is 64 pairs we have obtained. So, here one condition that is yellow, that means homozygous dominate condition. So, yes to obtain, totally there are 16 pairs that have obtained. So, like that, there is another condition that is homozygous recessive condition. So, homozygous recessive is bandhi and theli count maadhaga. This is also what? Total 16 pairs na mge obtain agit. Okay. So, the another condition is the heterozygous dominate condition. So, heterozygous dominate andra lena agirathe, one the dominate ali li ratthe, in one the recessive ali li ratthe. Okay. So, one dominate and another recessive ali. So, it will be expressing the character of what? Dominate. So, dominate yav di ratho, other the character express maadhaa ratho. Okay. So, haagare a conditional yav di ratho, the total lagi count maadhaa ratho. There are total 32 pairs that has obtained in the heterozygous condition. So, this will be tabulated in the column. Okay. So, idhu na nao tabular column ali haagdhaa ga. So, here there are mentioned that is dominate conditionally bandhi dhe enthela dhe dhe. So, dominate ali capital Y, capital Y. That means homozygous conditionally 16 is there. So, like that heterozygous conditionally 32 bandhi dhe. So, the total of these two is 48. So, like that the recessive that means homozygous recessive conditionally 16 bandhi dhe. So, total there are 64 pairs that has obtained. Okay. So, this is in a... Uh, genotypic ratio that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio in amiga obtain agad, okay so likewise we have taken four readings so four readings and account is totally by this we can know that the phenotypic and genotypic ratio of mono hybrid cross yesterday and thirdly noted right so the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to is 3 is to 1 ratio li barathe. So, the genotypic ratio we obtain that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio li barathe, okay. So, here 3 is dominate and uh, 1 is the 
recessive condition. So like that the genotypic one is homozygous dominant and another is heterozygous dominant and last one is the homozygous recessive condition. So by that we can conclude that the appearance of 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio verifies Mendel's law of segregation. So randomly picking the samples we can know that the, uh, the ratio which is obtained is correct and thelina mege gotagat. Okay? Thank you.